This is the new Cato Unitrack turntable. It's uh, designed to be a tabletop operation, so it's quite a shallow shape. You can recess it into a layout if you want to use it in a permanent situation. Um, in the pack you get the turntable control unit, ribbon cable that goes to the turntable, four exits, a bundle of detailing parts including buffers for the, the unused exits and what they call a jump lead which takes the power to the, the bridge rails from your Unitrack power pack or other power pack. So we're just going to connect it up so you've got the ribbon cable you'll note that they've got little clips on there so. just goes in there and on the back of the unit it goes in there. I've got the power and it's a 5 volt power supply so use the one that's supplied with the unit. Get a little green light on the control unit when it's powered up and well we can just, just leave the control in place until you want to stop it and then just release it and then it will drive to the next exit. It's a very smooth little runner. There we are, and then it should drive up to the stop. It also has a little latching mechanism that actually makes it rigid. It drives a little spike into the edge of the turntable so you, the, the bridge isn't moving around. In the package you have four of the, the straight run-on sections, and these are slightly elevated to bring you on the turntable. And you also have the unijoiners and the unijoiner tool. The grey unijoiners are electrically conductive and the black ones are insulated and they just pop in like that with the clip towards the middle. You can at any time remove the unijoiners using this tool and it just slides on it says, and then you can pull this out and then the section I've already got a half unit joiner in there. Just clips in. So I've now connected in a Kato power pack and the jump lead is just on the Tamiya style plugs that Kato like to use. So it just plugs in. So that provides the power for the actual running of the rails. Um, so if I turn if you're running onto the turntable from the hut end, turn it to the black. If you're running on from the other end, turn it to the white. So the power on at the black there. Put my loco into forward. Driving in. There we are. When you're about to turn, turn the power to off. And then you can rotate the turntable. So coming up to the, the full turn. Let it stop. So again we're going in that direction to so the black hour from the hut so turn it to the black and then we can drive off forward. As the Kato turntable powers the tracks that it lines up with, you have this situation if you have an exit opposite that both locos will run. Now there is a solution to that. They've uh, included insulated rail joiners which you can fit onto the, the entrance tracks. And there is the PAC 2284 which allows you to put power connections underneath these. I've now put the insulated rail joiners in and you can wire that track up that is insulated um, to a switch so that you can switch the power on when you need to. That means that you can then use tracks that are opposed to each other. There we are. 
we are. So there's a sort of quick note on disassembly, so just be careful when you unplug things. So each of the, the plugs have a, a lever, so squeeze them down and then pull them out. On the turntable unit, obviously take the power out. That's the jump lead, just pull it out. And then on the bottom of the ribbon cable there is a small lever and they ask that you depress that before pulling it out, just don't yank it by the cables. And the same at the other end. Here, there's a little lever and just press the lever first. So you can get additional exits, so you can put up to 36 exits on there and they do the packs 2285 and 2286 2285 are more of the, the straight exits like the ones that are supplied with the turntable and 2286 are a pair of the, the curved ones which will bring track back parallel to install them you remove a little panel and then there's a screw and you take it out and install the extension bits which look the same and screw them back in um, they tell you to do this away from the, the turntable bridge so you're not damaging the contacts on the bridge just rotate the bridge away when you want to work on a section